Oh guys, today we're talking about a bad film. Yes, there's always going to be those movies that are just absolutely terrible. This movie is Aliens vs. Predator Requiem. Yes. The first movie was good, for my my opinion, it's good. It's a good fan fiction film of the aliens and predators fought and... It actually had a decent story, but Alien vs. Predator Requiem is just... What did they even do with this film? Okay. What did they even do to this film? They could have made a third one, but it were flopped. Because... This film is basically just... Awful. Basically, I don't want you to see this film, so... I will spoil the entire plot for you because it's pretty bad. Following the events of the previous film, A Predator Sip Leaves Earth Killing the Alien Face Huggers, the body of the predator that defeated the queen. Of course, the predator now is a predator alien, so for some reason, now both species can merge. This movie makes very little sense. Predator alien, uh. So when predators, um, take over humans, they, um,. For some reason, they take over a body. A predator's weapon is now t in the hall, and they get all killed, and they crash, land, killing but one predator who is severely injured. The predator and, and face huggers escape, impacting embryos and people in the forest, hunting in the forest, as well as several homeless people that live in the sewers. The injured predator sends a distress single before getting killed by the alien. Predator alien on the Predator homeworld. Skin fat when Predator Wolf receives a single and takes her. This is the first movie where we see the Predator world. It is one of the few movies where we see where the Predators live. Receives a single and takes her on the Xenomorphs. He arrives at the crash ship. Uses a blue acid like liquid to dissolve to and erase ever evidence of the Xenomorphs presence. And triggers in a pulled into this sort of vessel. Meanwhile, ex convict Dallas Howard was returned to get Ga Ga Gunny sent for third time in prison, read by Eddie Morales and reunited with his own younger brother. Of course, uh, this is about these hi the high school kid like some girl, but some boys do something to him and they have to start find a thing that the boys did to him. It's just an Eric and all. But, Wolf tracks several aliens in the sewer and defeats two of them. As a <coughs> excuse me, Wolf pursues to a power plant where the basically the power goes out. Um, they xenomorph. They get to the pool, chase the kids out of the pool. They chase it to the designer. Some kids die. Um, basically, the national guard arrives. The alien predators find all the aliens. The predator is essentially just making everything into aliens. The entire place is overwhelmed by Xeomorphs and basically they escape. But the sound is gonna and would cause them to be surrounded by the aliens so they go along and the helicopter at the hospital. They everybody the girl that the guy likes is now dead. They are the hospital is invaded by the Xeomorphs and the alien. And the predator is attacked by the xenomorph. Both tumble down the set elevator. Um, Dallas, the guy, one of the guys in the movie, takes the plasma blaster. They all escape the predator and alien die before the nuclear strike. Basically, just kills everybody. So everybody's now dead, anyways. And survivors are rescued by the military. And the blaster is confiscated. And Steven presents to Mrs. Yatuni. Yeah, two, he tells him the world is not ready for this advanced technology. This movie made, uh, this movie just didn't need to exist, okay? They were set up for a second film, but the second film was extremely, extremely underwhelming, okay? Some of it's, it's just a generic story. They told the most generic story. Aliens taste down high school teenagers. So, and the predator and stuff, and it's just... A generic story they just came up with probably in like four or five minutes to make a story for the film. 
Overall, don't I wouldn't recommend this film at all. It's a bad. It's not a good film. People were saying this film was bad, but I decided to get it, see it anyways. Uh, it's one watch. Don't have to see it ever again. Don't have to suffer through this film ever again. And basically, it's the and uh, they never made a third one, so we don't have to suffer through a third movie. Good for everyone else. Make sure you like, and subscribe. And of course, I'll give my final review score of 3 out of 10. That's worse than the last that I for you. Because this film just has a completely dumb story. They told the most generic story ever. The characters basically ripped off several other movies that already came out. Several zombie movies and the Terminator movie. Well, the nuke destroys places and stuff. Goodbye.